is there anything wrong with snooping on your partner? I have to say, initially, I was going, well, morally, yes, I suppose it is wrong. It's breaching someone's privacy. But actually, in real life, I would absolutely do it 100%. <laughs> <laughs> If I, if I was suspicious. Yes, well, that's what I was going to say. If all of a sudden you're suspicious or your partner is acting very out of character... Yes. Mm. And, and I think a woman's intuition is very good. Very strong. Then, obviously, you start to get suspicious, so then you start... It, you know, it happened to me, as I've said many a times, um, you know, when, when the whole thing with Shane kicked off. And for about a year, I thought he changed. And I went from this, you know, for ten years... Mm. Previous, I never once suspected him of anything. We were happy. I never had to snoop. Mm. But because of his change in behaviour, all of a sudden, I turned into, you know... Inspector Clouseau. Miss Marple. Yeah, yeah. Miss Marple. Yeah. Prefer Inspector Clouseau yeah. than Miss okay, Marple. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I really... I turned into this person I didn't know. You know, mm. I'd say bye, he'd leave the house. I went through every pocket, every receipt. <gasps> iPhone shops up. I went through, um, you know, uh, uh, bank statements. Yeah. Oh and if I didn't goodness. know what it was, I'd phone the shop up or the person up to see what it was. I mean, I just became this person that I didn't know. And that can make you ill as well. Well, Drive I actually got crazy. to a point yeah. where I thought I am going crazy. Mm. I felt like I was having a nervous breakdown because it was just right. someone I didn't recognise within and myself. And were you, if you found anything, were you confronting him with it? Yeah, saying, I found loads of things and I or... would confront him. And he was brilliant at instantly coming up with what. It it was to make me go, oh yeah, that makes sense, yeah. and I'm being stupid. But you and still then it kept was actually looking. in the end, yeah, because things didn't change. Mm. And then in the end, it was technology. Um, where I'd done a computer course, he bought me a computer for Christmas, and the old-fashioned ones at, mm. all those years ago, and you plugged it into Dial the up. telephone yeah. mm -hmm. line, mm. and it'd been recording our house phone. Um, and I, I didn't know, but people kept saying, this, this American woman keeps answering your phone. And I was like, I don't get it. And then I saw it on the computer and it had, like, 35 recorded. And I went through them all oh. and one of them was him. So <gasps> must have felt sick. Oh, well, no. actually, I didn't, you know, because it was actually a confirmation of I wasn't You're mad. mad. Yeah. Yeah. And I was angry at myself for letting it go on so long. But actually. women's intuition is always right. I don't care what anyone says. You know, like, Strong. if a woman's talking to Eamon, mm. you know if they're talking or trying to flirt. You, you mm. just you know. You We're know. not silly. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But um, there's loads of things you could do these days. Like, you could drive yourself mad, but do you want to drive yourself no. mad? You know, I don't check Kieran's phone, even know what he did. Don't I don't, you? because what is the point? Had you before and you've no. stopped doing it? Or do and you I just... don't, because I think he should have learnt his lesson now. But I don't want to make myself... I can't live my life thinking, yeah. how totally long has he been at the shop? Mm. Is he doing... It? There's no point. If, he's... if they're going to do it, they're, they're going to do, do it. it. I watched it on a programme once. It was like a dry, uh, crime series where the guy was so paranoid about the wife, he checked her navigator the last... Uh, entries and I mean, there's loads you could do, That's but like genius. I say, I know I do that. <laughs> so always delete if you're gonna do it, delete everything. <laughs> But, yeah, delete everything. But then, if you're going to cheat, what's the point of being in that relationship? Yeah, yeah well, don't you think there's a got problem if it's got to that stage? Where you're putting trackers on yeah. someone's car. Yeah, but I think it comes with age, though. When you're younger, I think, you know, you're more younger. Like, I think insecure. we're older. What is the mm. point? Yeah, but the thing is, I, w I was cheated on once. Mm. Not, not Eamon, previous boyfriend. <laughs> and, it, yeah, I must make that clear. <laughs> 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 Um, you know, and and it made me like you. It, I mm. became this person I didn't like, and yeah. it made me a jealous person. Mm. Which there's still traits of that have never gone away, actually. Mm. Um, and probably when I first met Eamon, if he had left his phone lying around, my I had that instinct Stinctive. to kind of go, oh, yeah. the phone. And then I thought one day, what are you doing? Yeah. You know, he hasn't given you any reason. He wouldn't leave it there. Either. But isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, he wouldn't leave it there unless they're stupid. But people do leave things yeah. lying around. That's how they get caught. But I think if they? you yeah. do leave it around. You know, if you have a half takes phone in the shower or the bathroom, I think they're signs to look for. Yeah. I'm confident I can leave my phone anywhere, and if yeah. Kieran wants to pick it up, he can. But I'll be insulted if he does, because yeah. it's like you say, your phone these days has got yes. your emails, private stuff on. Totally. But I'm like, if you want to look, look. You know, yeah. it's. I've got a friend who um, hired a private detective <laughs> to spy on, yeah, to spy on her partner, and some, and the person had gone through their um, iCloud and all sorts, wow. like looking through all their emails. They get into all their pictures. Yeah, and everything. it's quite scary. Okay. Um, anyway, so her partner found out, and her partner was actually cheating. Found out hit the roof, and now my friend is the one in the wrong for having hired a private detective. I think when you get to that stage... Well, that's when it comes to morally, yeah. isn't it? But I go, if, you, if you've made your partner feel so insecure with your behaviour or being distant, 
that they, they feel the need to but go and hire a private to, detective. Also, There's something wrong, isn't but there? But you also Clearly. have to take responsibility yourself. If you're I've doing that, you're well. also part of the problem, I think. Well, if you're... Caught, I've been caught. When I was with Leo, the second time he came back, it's not that I was cheating. I already finished with him. And then at Christmas, he came back again, like a year later, mm. and I was seeing some footballer. <laughs> and, oh, no, <laughs> I won't mention it for legal reasons, but get my book in October and you'll read all about it. Um, but anyway, and we was going on a skiing holiday and my friend Jane, which is not my friend now for obvious reasons. Oh, yeah. that Jane. Oh, that Jane. Um, I said, I'll oh, look at the resort that I've booked for us all. It's a skiing resort. And she didn't, like, turn my computer off and I didn't think anything of it. So me and Leo went to get some skiing stuff. That night I'm in bed and he came to my room with my computer and he woke me up and went, who's da da da, who's da 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 in his accent? And I was like, what, what's he doing? And I realised she hadn't logged out and she, he had seen all the messages from this guy. Well, I think that guy. Jane was trouble from back then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> but my point is, but I wasn't, like, properly going back out with Leo, yeah. but he came at the time, I was, I'm being careful of the name so I don't mention him. Uh, the footballer. And the mm. time, because we could be here all week. Yeah. <laughs>